So the overall energy is infinite possibilities, um, wide open spaces, um, possible multiple offers. Somebody could have been trying to intimidate you. Maybe somebody that you thought was your friend or maybe someone thought they could take advantage of a friendship. Um, somebody was not innocent. They're, someone's not seeing the bigger picture here, okay? And this has to do with somebody feeling trapped with they may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. So someone may have been feeling trapped or in need to get out of a negative situation. And it... At some point in time, you may have felt like maybe something was hopeless because you had people trying to intimidate you. You may have had friends or family turn against you. Um, but somebody was not innocent, okay? Somebody was trying to take your innocence away as far as um, manipulation or possible exploitation. And I apologize for that if anyone has been exploited. Um, I'm having fun being myself, doing what I love. You enjoy what you do. If you have a platform, if you don't have a platform, whatever you do in life, in your job, you enjoy what you do. Faith moves mountains, but I prefer dynamite. So some sort of action that someone took, an underhanded action, is going to blow up in someone's face. They may have been trying to make something blow up for you. This could have something to do with a housing situation. Um, making you feel trapped, <clears throat> possibly helpless or hopeless, um, feeling trapped so maybe you couldn't get um, relocated or so you couldn't leave a situation or a home. Um, somebody wanted someone to be trapped. I wasn't mad before, but I am now. So someone's pissed at you because you're happy. Because they tried to intimidate you, they tried to scare you, and you're not backing down. You're still doing you, you're still doing something that makes you happy, you're still moving forward. If you are in the process of looking for a new place to go, or a home, or something like that, um, something is going to work out for you. Somebody is not as tall as they thought they were, okay? So someone's feeling really small with themselves. They tried to make something blow up, and something is backfiring, because you're pure. You're white as snow here with the sheep. I don't suffer insanity. I enjoy every minute of it in the reverse. So somebody may have been trying to mess with you mentally, um, cause you some sort of mental instability or conflict, possibly because they're unstable or mentally unstable. People could be finding that out about this person, this karmic energy. Why cry for someone when you can laugh with someone else? So somebody was laughing at your problems. They wanted you to be crying. They wanted you to have a mental breakdown. Somebody was really playing in your energy and it's not, it's, it's not funny. It's not fun in games. The kind of energy I'm picking up here is somebody that really wanted to cause you some sort of mental trauma or harm. They wanted you to literally be balled up in a corner crying kind of energy. Home is where the heart is. You want to go home. You want to be home. You want to feel home. You want to feel safe. You know, home literally is where the heart is. You can make home out of hell. If you're in the upright here, if you're a divine femur masculine, you have that ability, especially if you're a high priest or priestess, because you've had to endure some shit to get to the level you're at. I like to be an example, usually a bad one though, and run. So someone who's a bad example is going to be running, possibly running from the law. <clears throat> Police could have get involved. Some sort of allegations could have been made. These could have been false allegations. Something is backfiring on somebody, um, especially if this has to do with some sort of real estate or housing, um, crooked landlords or crooked realtors. I'm not stubborn. I'm just always right. Somebody didn't want to give in. Someone didn't want to compromise. If you obey all the rules, you'll miss all the fun. So maybe you started having fun again. You know, while people were busy, whether this is one person, a group of people, you know, maybe you started having fun again, okay? Maybe you decided to break a rule or two, um, you know, step outside your comfort zone, live a little. Maybe you're more of an introvert and you decided to take an extrovert move, you know, or maybe you're a mixture and you've been more introverted lazy late, lately and maybe feeling lazy. So maybe you broke out of that and um, ended up doing something fun and doing something for yourself. There could have been something that happened in the daytime or somebody was trying to do something in the nighttime. Somebody could have uh, tampered with something around your home or something like that. Somebody was being really sneaky and stealthy. And this really has to do with like a housing situation and intimidation and someone that tried to like take innocence away from you. It's, this could have even been somebody that you were living with that wanted to make life a living hell. Um, say you're in a relationship or something, maybe living with this person, maybe you were always walking on eggshells, maybe, you know, you were waiting for the next big thing to blow up, and, um, 
you know, somebody was just really, really hurting you. I'm just getting like really trying to hurt you. Something may be slow moving, but we have slow and go. So you're going and it's slow moving. So someone may have wanted something to happen quickly and it's still going forward. You still have options and it's going to pick up. You're still going. It just may be moving slower than you would like, especially if you're trying to get out of this situation. It may be taking longer than you expected. <clears throat> But with go, something is in motion, something is going to be moving, or something is moving, it's just not going as fast as you wanted it to. You're working on creating, you're working on building, spider, spider web, you're working on building something. While someone's trying to trap you in a web, you're trying to create something beautiful, stable, um, you know, it's just, you've tapped into your creative abilities. Um, whether this is spirituality or on the job, maybe you've been experimenting more with um, a new direction on how you do stuff. There's a rebirth and transformation. So you're working on things, you're creating. You could have recently gone through a rebirth, a transformation, or you're working to create this rebirth. Like, make the best out of this, figuring out who you are. You could have recently gone through an ascension, a transformation, and you're trying to figure out who you are, what your purpose is in life, what's going to happen. It's, a, it's like you're building something new. It's like the Fool card, the Fool energy. And you're determined. Pisces energy, you are determined. You're going to make this happen. You're determined to make something work and happen. But someone may be ha um, not happy that something isn't moving for them. So if they try to intimidate you, to scare you, um, to either scare you away or keep you trapped, um, it's not happening as fast as they want it to so this is somebody trying to scare you away um it may be moving slower than they want it to um if you're trying to escape a negative situation it may be moving slower for you than you want it to but there's a death here death rebirth transformation you're a whole new being you're a whole new creature and you're creating you're tapped in whatever it is you're doing what you're meant to be doing and you're going to keep ascending. So just because you've leveled up doesn't mean the ascension stop. It's just, you're just going to keep moving forward. And you may have sacred knowledge or you may be held as sacred. Someone may view you as sacred, worth protecting. Somebody didn't want to transform. Somebody didn't want to change. Somebody wanted to still be a pain in the ass or be a dick, you know. Whether this is somebody you lived with or somebody that you had a business partnership with. Somebody didn't want things to change. Someone's scared here about how protected, how sacred you are, about possibly the sacred knowledge you possess. You may know things that other people don't. <clears throat> Someone is definitely scared. Something is unbalanced, so something has to be balanced out. Libra energy, Libra could be significant here. Somebody was trying to cause an imbalance by stopping, by trying to stop a change, by trying to stop a transformation because they refuse to change or transform, they're out of balance. Someone's out of alignment and this is a karmic energy. And so because they're out of alignment, they wanted that for you. They wanted to cause that for you. Um, they're very low vibrational. They thrive on chaos, mischief, you know, slander, scamming, theft, you know, same shit, different day with these karmics, but you know, they're always trying something. Someone could be getting ghosted. This could be a female that's ghosting someone or um, a female being ghosted. But there's a feminine energy here and a ghosting. Somebody turned their back on someone. Or somebody feels like they turned their back on another person. <clears throat> so somebody could be getting ghosted. There's a moment for reflection. There's a broken cycle here. Something can't be healed. Something can't be repaired. There could be two people turning their backs on a person or each other. So two people could have their backs to each other. So there may be a stalemate in a relationship or situation. Or it's like, you know, um, I'm getting like a dueling energy where two people are like facing back to back and like something is about to blow up. It's like... Two people calling each other's bluff. 
there's a group here trying to figure out something. So there's a group here who could be talking, um, trying to figure out something. There could just be a lot of talk going on about a broken cycle or a broken partnership where two people are turning their backs on each other. Somebody was alone in isolation. Somebody felt alone even when they were surrounded by people. Maybe you felt like you couldn't trust anyone and that's what these people or this person wanted for you. There's a group here that want to help you rebuild um, you know, that Ten of Wands energy, you've gone through a lot of conflict, you may be fighting off a lot of people on your own, but there are some people here that want to help you, and they may be just trying to figure out how they can do that. <clears throat> Somebody didn't want another person to be able to rest, to relax, to spend time alone, to think, to contemplate, to heal. Um, also, the karmic didn't want to do this. So not only did they not want this to happen for you, they didn't want it for themselves because, you know, shadow work sucks, but... That's how you level up. Someone's going to be moving. There's moving, traveling, and money. So somebody may be getting paid to move, or somebody may need to move, but there's somebody here getting paid for something. So there's something regarding money being paid and moving. So you may be putting a down payment on a new place or moving. There was a masculine energy that got ghosted or that ghosted somebody. Oh, okay. So it could be a masculine and feminine partnership. There could be a breakup here in this situation. Um, someone's putting some money down and moving. There's money being exchanged. So you, know, you could be buying a place, renting a place. There's definitely travel. Somebody could be maybe paying you to travel. Or you may be getting paid to travel. Maybe you're starting a new job as well. <clears throat> There was a masculine that spent a lot of time in isolation as well before they decided to ghost someone. There's a big mess to clean up because somebody is partnered up with someone and they have a decision to make which way they're going. There's a group of people here that's abandoning somebody or a group of another group of people. So there's a group of people here that are like trying getting out of Dodge. It's like, all right, we're trying to get out of here as quickly as possible. It's hot on the chopper. Let's get out of here. There's reflecting going on. There's hangman energy. There could also be a group of people that are trying to elevate or ascend off of your energy. We have that seduction here. So somebody could have been spending a lot of time alone. Um, they could have been seduced or feel like they were seduced. Um, there could have been a situation with, um, you know, a third party situation or maybe prostitution. So somebody could have been enticed or seduced. Somebody could have said a per somebody was a prostitute. Um, so maybe you spent a lot of time alone because somebody was accusing you of being into prostitution. Or maybe somebody was spending a lot of time alone and they went and visited a prostitute. <clears throat> they were seduced. There's definitely a sexual energy in here. And there's a masculine and feminine energy and they're like turning their backs on each other. Um, and there's a mess to clean up because there's a partnership. There's a union here with the two of cups energy. There's a partnership and a decision and a crossroads. So maybe someone deciding to partner up with another person could cause a group of people to not want to deal with someone. So this may be a risky commitment kind of situation. Somebody could have said they wanted you kicked out of a house because you were a prostitute and you were selling your body. Um, but there's also a third party situation here, like I said. I kind of felt that energy. There's definitely a third party situation here and a, a feminine. So there's an empress and then, um, you know, there's two feminine energies here and a seduction. So there's definitely like this sexual energy for sure. So somebody may be at a crossroads or a decision when it comes to staying in a relationship or going, there could be an, a situation of a false twin and an empress or there's like a twin flame connection and an empress. It doesn't have to be a false twin, but it can also be a karmic one where you're going to learn lessons. Um, but there's definitely some sort of soul connection or twin flame connection here with a, a, an empress, a feminine energy. <clears throat> and there's a group of people here that are not seeing something clearly or that um, someone is not seeing clearly about these people.
So there's a group of people here that may not have seen something clearly, but now they want to work with you and help you build. Somebody could have been homeless out on the street here. There's a family here. Somebody could have tried to get you kicked out, left out on the street. Like I said, somebody could have said that you were prostituting or running like a prostitution ring or something out of the house. And that could have been why they said that um, you needed to leave the, you know, like the real estate or something like that. They could have made false allegations with you or false police reports saying, you know, th that you were a prostitute that would have put you under some sort of investigation. <clears throat> And I feel like when that didn't work or when something significant in that regard didn't work, they may have tried to do something else like at night. Yeah, this is like a permanent ending here. This the sandworm here, there's an ending. Somebody brought an ending to themselves. There could be an ending to um, a third party situation. Somebody doesn't want to play both sides. Somebody can't be cool anymore. Somebody's going to lose, um, you know, they can't be chill. They can't relax. So somebody could have tried to relax and um, put an end to something, but they can't. It's like they, an ending would scare this person. If something ends, it would like tear someone up. But there's something really shocking about something being a show or appearing like a show or like a carnival ride. But someone's telling the truth. So someone feels like another person's just trying to take them for a ride. But someone's telling the truth so someone may have thought that something wasn't as it appeared so like if someone said you were a prostitute or something like that someone may have tried to um offer you money for services or something and something could have backfired here um maybe they liked you a little too well um but there's some sort of truth that you were speaking someone is shocked to find out that you were speaking the truth Possibly maybe that you wanted to have some fun or that you were having fun or um, that somebody wants to have fun with you or that somebody enjoys your company. So this may be like an opposites attract kind of thing. Once again, we have somebody who can't rest, can't relax until something ends. And that could also be um, a homeless situation or begging, you know, like with this lady here. Once again, I'm getting like that homeless energy bag lady energy somebody may want to come and lead you astray but you're very guarded and protected or somebody is trying to be your friend or pretending to be your friend like somebody has become your friend you may feel guarded against this person they may have feel, felt or feel guarded towards you because they thought that you were being dishonest with them, possibly. So somebody may have thought you were lying and putting on a show. Someone thought maybe you really were a hooker or something. Um, and so somebody initially wasn't trying to be your friend. They thought you were putting on a show and they were willing to throw down some money and, you know, possibly get some, get some action. Um, but there's something shocking that happened when you told the truth or spoke some sort of truth or some sort of truth was revealed. And now somebody is at a crossroads and a decision as to what to do or how to move forward. Somebody isn't hesitating. He who hesitates is hungry. Someone may be taking some quick action because they're like, ooh, goo goo gaga. Like someone is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, okay? Someone is liking what you know, another person's laying down. <clears throat> but they feel like they might not measure up. I'm overweight. I'm, I'm not overweight. I'm under tall. Someone may feel like they might not measure up or someone may be concerned about something. Something may not be measuring up. This is somebody that you may have known from your past or somebody is going to say goodbye to someone or someone from the past could be coming back. Like, hey, remember me? Or somebody from the past, something from the past could have came back. You know, that Mercury retrograde energy, the past comes back for a time. So 
someone was pissed that you may that they may have been ghosted. Oh, big fat hairy deal. So someone doesn't care anymore. Someone's not going to care. Someone doesn't care if they measure up or not. Someone may be taking a risk. They're willing to take a risk. Um, somebody coming back to do something like with a, hey, remember me? Someone could be pissed off. Someone could be getting upset. If this is a third party situation, somebody may be upset that someone keeps going back or going somewhere. You know, to be a friend, something like that. Someone's not impressed. Someone could have health issues or be having like a panic attack. Or somebody being non-emotional is causing somebody some sort of anxiety. Maybe because they're concerned that they don't measure up with this third party situation. Because somebody may be acting like something really isn't a big deal, but they're, it's like killing them. It's like they're dying. Like, And it may not be a literal death. It just may be like killing them. Like they may just be like, I don't know how to deal with this. Like I can't, I can't keep my cool. You know, something has to, something has to give. There's something significant about Monday. Somebody could be pissed on a Monday. Someone could be having a little tantrum on a Monday. There's something that could piss someone off. Someone's lying. So someone could be pissed off on a Monday about somebody lying. Someone thought they were better than another person. So someone's pissed because they thought that, you know, it's like, if this were a competition, somebody thought another person was better than the divine femme or divine masculine. So somebody may have been trying to compete with you. A wife, a homemaker, nature's most perfect food. So a spouse could be significant. There's a spouse lying here about something, and Monday could be significant. So if somebody made, like, a false allegation or something, this could have been, like, a spouse of yours or someone else's spouse, maybe that you know, a close friend, family, relative, something like that. But somebody lied. So we have someone that's lying, a spouse, and somebody who's a superhero or um, coming across with this like superhero energy. They could have had like an energy surge, something like that. Something could have changed in their demeanor or behavior. There's definitely a spouse that's going to be upset. <clears throat> or someone's going to be upset at a spouse. So this could be you being upset keep your attitude i have my own so this superhero kind of energy this um person who wants to sweep in come in and save the day they're tired of hearing it like if someone's like nagging or bitching like trying to pick a fight with this person they may just be like you know what just piss off like someone's just sick of it it's like if you're in a marriage and you're constantly walking on eggshells here and you, you can't stand to be home because you're afraid of like a blow up or some sort of altercation. Something is going to happen. So something could blow up on Monday. There could be like a verbal um, issue here. There could be some loud yelling, some words being exchanged. There's a message of truth and a positive outcome in the Queen of Swords. So there's a positive outcome here and a message of truth. So maybe there was a Queen of Swords that was telling the truth the whole time and somebody was creating an injustice by trying to stop someone from moving or traveling. Somebody was trying to keep another person trapped or stuck. 
So like I said, if you were trying to get out of a situation, like if you were trying to leave a situation, somebody could have been trying to keep you trapped or stuck. Somebody was not held in high honor here. So somebody was not respectable. And there's a decision that needs to be made. Now that somebody knows the truth, they have a decision. They're at a crossroads. So if this is a third party, with like your baby mama, baby daddy situation, whatever this crazy um, stuff is, there's definitely conflict within a marriage here. Uh, your baby, you know, your baby's daddy, baby's mama's new person, whoever they're with, they could have made an allegation against you um, to try to stop something from moving forward, maybe to stop you from moving forward. They created an injustice and they lied about it. So it's either that or somebody lied about traveling or moving um, towards somebody or they lied about a situation or they lied to their spouse. So somebody could have been asked point blank, did you do this? And someone was like, no, I did not. And it's like, okay, then why, why are you helping this person? So like if this is your ex, maybe you share a ch child or children, something like that. And this person was helping you out in some sort of way. Um, this per something's going to blow up, man. And so this, this person that they're dealing with, they could have done something really underhanded and shady and then lied about it. Cause there's definitely marriage issues here. Like you wouldn't believe somebody could have been accused of being in a third party situation, accused another person of being a hooker. Your, your ex's person could have said that you were, they could have been the ones that said you were a prostitute. Like, oh, that's how they make their money. They're doing some underhanded shit. And so they could have said that you were, like, sleeping with people for money. They could have made reports about this. There's a decision to be made. Your manifestations are coming. You're in manifest mode, so you have options. It doesn't matter what these crazy-ass people are trying to do to you. You're going to get your manifestations because you've ascended. You've gone through your transformation. You have reached that level of awesomeness. They cannot take it from you. It's not for a lack of trying, but you're not doing anything wrong. You're doing you. You're doing what you love. You're doing what makes you happy, and you're minding your own business, and they should just do the same. <clears throat> We have a king of wands and hurt, okay? So this could have been somebody who was stuck in the middle. If this is um, an issue of two masculines, two feminines, however this resonates, you know, um, the king of wands is sometimes associated with that player energy. Um, something that they did or you being their manifestation, like you could be this person's dream come true. There could be a meeting and a financial imbalance. So there could be some talk in a meeting um, about a financial imbalance that's going on or about somebody who is not held in high honor causing a financial imbalance. A high priestess in the reverse. So this is somebody who could have been practicing some, you know, dark shit they shouldn't be doing. That's that like hexing and cursing energy coming out. Something is being brought to light regarding a queen of cups. This Queen of Cups could be jealous. It could have been the Queen of Cups who was envious, um, emotionally unstable, emotionally manipulative. Um, just because that person came out in the upright doesn't necessarily mean they're in the upright. Somebody was bound by some sort of secret that they were keeping or that they partnered up with somebody. So there was some sort of secret partnership that they were part of, that they were working with somebody to keep someone bound and trapped. To stop them from moving forward. Now, this could be a situation where this person was afraid you were going to go try to hook back up with your ex and they didn't, you know, they could be jealous of you, like that Queen of Cups energy. They could have hooked up with your ex to make your life hell, like someone else you share children with, you know, like whoever this is, you know, there's a partnership here. There's a secret partnership of, uh, you know, people who are not respectable, not held in high honor, doing some shady shit to people. And someone's going to end up getting hurt. And, you know, this King of Wands can be stuck in the middle. And, you know, the King of Wands doesn't have to be a player. This person could be a supervisor in management. They could be in a leadership role. And they're going to be hurt to find out that their spouse did this to them. So this could be a betrayal 
from a queen of, you know, uh, by that queen of cups. The queen of cups could be this person's wife or partner, girlfriend, whatever. Um, but you could have spoken some sort of truth about what someone did to you with the queen of swords energy. There's a positive outcome for a queen of swords. Someone who's logical. You tell the truth. You send a message speaking the truth. And this person didn't want to hear it. And this king of wands is going to find out that you were telling the truth. There's also a King of Cups here and a new start, a new beginning. So, you know, if this King of Wands was just, just, okay, follow me here. If this King of Wands was stuck in between two females, like a current and an ex, they're about to get hurt if they ended up choosing a karmic over somebody that they should have been with. Because there's a King of Cups here that's willing and ready to gear up and get on board with possibly this queen of swords here someone someone wants to go towards someone here with a love offer and this king of wands could have had a decision to make you know there's a, there's a healing somebody wants to heal a tower moment so while somebody was causing a tower moment someone else wants to heal it so this could be somebody that you have not been intimate with before or had like an actual relationship with that wants to come towards you and have this clean slate. But they want to clean up this betrayal. They want to help you heal. They could be helping you heal. And this King of Wands chose to stay in a relationship or married to a karmic energy. Um, you know, so at one time, this could have been your um, a false twin. You know, the false twin comes before the true twin. So your ex could have been the false twin and this king of cups that you're going to have this new start with could be like your true twin or your true divine partner. Meanwhile, the king of wands is person that they're dealing with and possibly your ex or somebody else were working together against you. But there's someone here who, who is getting a clean slate going in a new direction. This king of cups is... I just heard you can keep... Yeah, I told you. You can teach an <laughs> old dog new tricks. <laughs> I just heard you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but then I heard, oh, yes, you can. So I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Oh, there's so much to do. So much to do. This is a mess. So much to do with sorting out this mess here. There's like a, a crazy bit, but, you know, somebody's coming. This King of Cups wants a new start. They want to make a solid offer to someone here. And we have a King of Pentacles here that didn't want to travel towards someone to make them an offer. Um, so that could be, you know, the person that the King of Cups wants to hook up with. It could be that person's ex. I'm getting that these are like all different energies. <laughs> ah, these triangles, these, these squares, <laughs> these triangles are turning into squares and rectangles and like octagons and all kinds of crazy shit financial balance is being restored okay so if you're a divine femme you could have had someone a king of pentacles who didn't want to travel towards you didn't want to make you an offer they could have been a gold digger they only wanted money they could have came towards you in the past for money for financial stability maybe they were looking for like a sugar mama a sugar daddy something like that um so that would be um, you know, maybe this is about, you know, two exes that you're dealing with, like if you're dealing with two masculines, but I'm also getting that there's a masculine in this that's dealing with two feminine energies, which would be like, um, someone they're currently involved with, like possibly married to, and then possibly someone they were divorced from, um, you know, take it how it resonates. However, this is, it doesn't have to be a marriage. It can just be a commitment. It could be, you know, um, you know, they could live under the same roof, but there's financial balance and someone here is moving on to calmer waters. There was not a victory. It was some sort of swift action someone took. I told you someone made a false allegation or some crazy shit. Someone lied. With a page of wands here, somebody lied about someone. And I feel like if this was your ex, baby mama, baby daddy, it was whoever they were partnered up with that could have done this because they didn't want you to get some money. The Knight of Pentacles here. They didn't want you to get some money, so they took some swift action here, and they're not going to have a victory. This is a no for them. They, they didn't get what they wanted out of this. They're not going to get what they wanted from this by causing you drama when you don't want anything to do with this situation. I mean, you got your own set of problems. It's like these... 
there could be like two or three different families involved in this situation, but you all know each other. I don't know if like, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting into that, but there's like three different families that, you know, whether they're friends, relatives, whatever, um, y'all got a lot of issues. <laughs> And I don't mean that, like, uh, to be offensive, but damn, there's a lot of shit going on here. Someone didn't listen to their instincts, or their instincts were um, not on point, but yours was. So somebody didn't listen to their instincts before they took some sort of action. If they would have, they would have known better before they took this action. There was a crooked judge here that could have been involved in this. They fell for the trap, fake love. So somebody doesn't really love another person. They were just trying to trap them up. They could have had crooked judges involved in this. You could have had some instinct or had a feeling about a judge being crooked. And they could have felt, fallen for a trap. Okay. Um, this could have been somebody that you were in a relationship that really didn't love you. That like scammed you. Something like that. Like an ex-boyfriend, girlfriend. I told you, this is, this went from a triangle to a square to, like, a fucking octagon. Like, there are so many different levels to this. It's like, you got a few, uh, you have, some of you have a few exes that are still in your energy playing around. But somebody tried to trap you up. Something was not love. Um, or someone tried to trap up another person. Or there was a karmic trying to trap up another karmic. Um, whatever. But you may have had some instincts about someone filing charges, making false allegations. So charges may have been filed because of a crooked judge. So a crooked judge fell for the trap. They could have been paid off. They could have been, you know, slipped something under the table to keep their mouth shut or have a judgment thrown, uh, possibly because you have different religious beliefs. So this could be part of a religious organization where you don't fit the mold. You're different. Someone listened to rumors or someone is listening to rumors um, and they need to stop wasting their time because something is all rumor. Something is all made up. None of it is fucking true. So somebody got a corrupt judge that may have had different beliefs than you to try to trap you up in some shit. And they should have listened to their instincts because they're going to get caught up in some shit. There's a promotion coming for you who's in the upright here. You didn't do anything wrong. You're minding your business. As you should. And as you do. Alright, so somebody could be married. Someone someone that someone's married to will not let something go. They're obsessed. This could be the, the Queen of Cups energy that's jealous. Um, it could be your ex. Um, someone is obsessed with that another person could be in a marriage with or a business deal or something, they will not let it go. They need to let it go, but they won't let it go. Somebody will not let something go. It's like they just keep bringing it up over and over and over. They keep trying the same shit over and over and over. Someone feels like they said love at first sight. This is somebody who's coming to you with a love offer. They've loved you since day one. Um, you already know too much. You know, someone's eavesdropping, be careful. Someone's trying to listen in on your conversations. You may need to up your spiritual protection for a time. There was a crooked call. I told you there was a crooked call religious group that are full of air. They know they're not getting anywhere with this. If they tried to set you up. If they tried to rob you, if they threw a case because they thought they were going to get some money, it's not going to happen because they were not innocent, but you were. They tried to make you look like you were the liar and you were innocent the whole time. You were being guided by your ancestors. They weren't. They don't believe in that. <clears throat> Somebody's definitely being immature and childish and they need to act their age. These came out sideways. You're driving me crazy. I can't stop thinking about you. Somebody's being arrogant. So somebody can't stop thinking about another person. Um, they could be feeling arrogant or maybe they were arrogant about something. Um, they're desperate to work with you, a coworker. So someone, you know, a coworker is desperate. It could have been somebody that you tried to work with. Um, 
you know, that was arrogant and maybe they want to apologize. Maybe they underestimated how much they feel for you. You're driving someone crazy here. And it's, this could be somebody that you work with. Um, and they, they really, really want to be with you. It could be that sexual energy. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody may want to partner up with you, work with you. Um, you know, co-worker, co-parent could be significant as well. Someone is <clears throat> was arrogant, possibly that you co-parent with. Maybe somebody can't stop thinking about you and um, the person they're married to is obsessed and they won't let it go because they're jealous of you and they're afraid this person's going to come back to you. Um, it's like you're just trying to be cool with people and people won't let you relax. It's like there's... <laughs> It's like they just won't leave you alone. Cry me a river. Someone's going to be crying or they are crying. <clears throat> Somebody spoke some sort of truth on a Monday. There's a Monday here and there was some sort of truth... Um, whether it's the past Monday or an upcoming Monday, Monday is definitely significant. Sagittarius is significant here. A, B, C, and D. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. M, N, O, or P. On a Tuesday. <clears throat> and then we have for some, a summer on Friday and the summer is significant. A Monday with the Libra. Balance is going to be restored. Something is going to be balanced out. Monday is definitely significant. That's the second time Monday has come out. Monday is definitely significant. Secrets are being exposed. Air your dirty laundry. Someone tried to make, make you look really guilty of doing something very bad. And they were just very evil. They were just very dark. <clears throat> they just had bad intentions for you. They wanted you to start over. They didn't want you to be able to start over, actually. Start from scratch in the reverse. They didn't want you to be able to start over. Something is just a matter of time because they didn't learn their lessons. They kept doing some crazy shit. They, they didn't learn how to make the best of a bad situation. They don't know how to do that. This is very codependent energy. Then we have Leo. Something's going to happen for you in the nick of time. October could be significant. And an Aries and a Virgo. Somebody wasn't missing somebody, and someone is easily tempted by the low-hanging fruit, and someone's going to fly the coop or did flew, <laughs> flew the coop. They did fly the coop or they're going to. Someone was tempted with that seduction energy, and so someone could be moving out. November could be significant. So someone could have been cheating. <clears throat> You know, it could have been that jealous-ass Queen of Cups who was cheating on the King of Wands, you know? Who knows? <sighs> Hearts content have high hopes. So, you know, you have high hopes, Pisces. Your heart's going to be content. You're going to be good. There's something significant with someone who is older and wiser. You guys could be thick as thieves. So there's something significant about a Pisces and um, possibly someone older. Or this Pisces could be older and you're just thick as thieves with this person. So you can have a close relationship. Um, this partnership with you being thick as thieves with this person is causing an ending. Dead as a doornail. Something is over, done, dead. Someone fell off the wagon because they see the writing on the wall. So if somebody lied to this person that wanted to partner up with you, possibly bring you a love offer or work with you, um, you know, someone sees the truth now. Somebody was just really jealous they couldn't rest unless they were causing you problems, unless they caused an ending for you. So they spread these lies, made these allegations against you. They sure as hell didn't want this person to come towards you and help you in any sort of way. So if they know someone's helping you out, they could be pissed off every time they know that this person is coming to help you out. Once again, Pisces in the morning time is significant. Somebody was your op, plays for the other team. Someone's getting their wake-up call, though. Okay, this was the calm before the storm. You have someone chomping at the bit in the morning time. A Capricorn could be significant. Once bitten, twice shy. You may have been hesitant or nervous. March is significant here. Very significant. Alright. 
This is crazy. Someone's not going to be able to breathe a sigh of relief. Someone's going to get avoided like the plague. This is going to be a third party. There's something significant about a third party and someone being avoided like the plague. Someone could be avoiding another person because they know they're involved with a third party or because they have feelings for a third party. Someone, I mean, God almighty, how many, I told you there's like possibly up to three, four different couples involved in this situation. However, that's the case. Um, they're all connected, whether they just know each other, hang out with each other, whether they're related and this is in-laws, um, exes, uh, baby daddy, baby mamas current spouses, current whatevers, um, there's definitely third party situations, possibly more than one within this group, I don't know, oh, could be significant, this, this is a disaster, <laughs> I feel for you dog, I feel for you, F, someone could be get, being told fuck off, mm. V, Valentine's, somebody wished that they could have spent Valentine's Day with you, or they want you to be their Valentine, they look at you as like, someone has really lovely feelings towards someone, W, R, somebody definitely wants to work with you, partner up with you, Y, someone could... Possible. I mean, with the Ace of Cups, somebody could want to marry you. Ray could be significant. R A Y. Ray, Raymond, Rayford. And I do have R A Y F O, so Ray Ford. F, F O R D. Ray Ford could be significant. Another O. Another A. And I have one more fall on the table in L. Mm, Lagoon could be significant. Uh, the, the movie Blue Lagoon could be significant. Um, oh god, I haven't seen that in forever. Um, I think that has Brooke Shields in it, and I can't remember the guy's name. But Lagoon, water, um, like a pond, something like that. Like a swampy area could be significant. Um, someone sees you as the ray of sunshine. Someone's name is definitely Ray. Um, there's something significant about water as well. And possibly waves. Um, so taking a trip to the ocean. The song Cake by the Ocean could be significant. Um, go to L.A. Someone could be taking a trip to L.A. Going on vacation to L.A. Maybe you've never been there before. This may be a new experience for you. Um, once again, Las Vegas LV came out. So L.A., Las Vegas, Alabama. Um, Arkansas could be significant, um, yeah, uh, West Virginia could be significant, so someone may be, like, hooking up to a camper, taking a road trip, going across country, that could be significant, you might go to the Grand Canyon for the first time, I hope this helps, have a good day.